don't scroll i pull this deck for a reason you know every time i pull this deck you get a message from your divine for your higher self now again i have to answer this question why your higher self is talking to me it is because you are not listening to your intuition they are trying to give you a message but you are not listening i know this intro become very stereotypical and very cliche but this is what i get when i pull this deck so every time this is in my hand it means some great news coming on your way and you need to hear this and i know this is the time when your heart is in a situation where you are not you are not being able to hold on anymore you are feeling like i'm crushing i'm just devastated i can't deal with this anymore i don't know your situation but whatever is the situation going on if it resonates that you are going through a, on the verge of breaking down and feeling like i have lost all the hopes this reading is coming on your way for a reason okay let us see what comes up but again it's a collective reading uh, if you want to book a paid private reading you can email me at divinemothersguidance@gmail.com my only account in tiktok this is the celebration this beautiful dove this celebration good news coming on your way you know i was feeling like the person who is seeing this video they need to hear this that this is just hold on a little bit so good news is coming on your way you will be smiling again it will be such a beautiful thing in your life again all the happiness that you thought that's gone forever it's going to come back to you celebration moment honey smile yeah speaking of that my only youtube channel, my only tiktok account divine mother's guidance with um 131k plus followers and my only instagram account answered prayers oh beautiful 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 and my only instagram hush that shit i have to say that to stop the scammer yeah the only instagram account divine mother's guidance with 3900 plus followers only one youtube channel let's ask her please subscribe to my youtube channel to give you there is some benefit okay tiktok doesn't give me anything because i'm not a creator fund program part so speaking of that why this is the answer prayer so this is the reason this tarot reader is on your for you page to let you know that whatever you think that's end of that happiness everything is gone god is not there my arms my arms there is i'm praying but nothing is happening this is to show you that yes your prayer has been answered and the celebration moments are coming whatever you thought has gone is going to come back to you in a transformed way look at this butterfly this is so beautiful some kind of communication with this blue butterfly blue is the color of communication so some kind of communication also with the bird right coming on your way that is going to bring that happiness back to your life and you might be thinking right now that is a shit show no if you believe in divine if you prayed if you did your manifestation those things are coming back to you oh this card here what is that inner child all right speaking of that so i think this card is also want to tell you that work on your inner child trauma because you know what lot of things we manifest in our life from the place of our trauma because if we are not healed the universe keeps sending us people and incidents so that it gives us a reflects like a mirror back to us there is something inside us we need to heal so if this card if this reading found you try to find out what exactly going on in your life why is there any pattern of those things happening like if it is a relationship or it is a disaster that is happening in your life again and again in terms of career relationship love or whatever it is why do you how do you feel about yourself in that specific area for example it is love the person is leaving you fight happening you are you know you are attracting bad people why do you believe that i am worthy of love do you believe that you truly deserve the prince or princess treatment do you believe that somebody can treat you like a at their most priority do you believe that way if you don't believe that way what exactly you believe those people are reflecting that back to you so you need to work on those on belief systems and those belief system specifically comes from our inner child world you know what even if you we had the best parent they are also human being they also carry their generational trauma at times the parents even though they love us to the core might not be able to do appear in our reality the way we wanted them to but as a adult probably we understand their perspective but as a child probably we did not and those things perceive we perceive as childhood trauma so those actually shape our belief system about our relationship about ourselves about the overall society how the society will be how the world will be around us and because we believe that we manifest that in our life so maybe sit down with your with your belief system about your you know about the society about you about your success about your love life and start 
saying affirmations and start reshaping those belief system if they are not aligned with what you now want. Okay, so if you see that relationships are falling apart and you feel like, oh, if only time this is happening with me because I deserve this. Because in the childhood, you learn that, you know, um, those hot and cold behavior, maybe like inconsistent, you know, uh, affection from your parents due to some whatever reason. We don't judge them, but it might have happened. Or maybe they were too much helicopter parenting. So you become so dependent, dependent on their validation. So what exactly it is? So in that case, start working, start reparenting your inner child. Think about the little person that you can imagine, the small one, and see what this person needed that time. Love, care, are they scared? What they feel like, they'll feel left alone. Work on those beliefs like that you are holding on into your in your soul and your heart and your body and release those trauma. Once you start doing inner child trauma healing, you will see that your belief system, your confidence level grows and the whole world reflects that back to you. Okay. Um, I'll take one more card. I'm being called to take one more card. Oh, this is a lovely, lovely situation. All right. All right. So if it is your love story, that love is going to come back to you. That love that you are crying for, that Babu Shona Jadu Tona, that's going to come back to you. So this is the confirmation. So if you are crying for your Babu Shona Jadu Tona, whatever shit, they're going to come back to you. They still hold you, they are your heart in their heart. Okay. And they are healing. Look at this green heart. So they are healing and they are holding your heart in their heart. So if this reading found you, <coughs> meanwhile, stop crying. Okay. Stop crying. Work on yourself. Work on your childhood trauma. And say those affirmations every night. I am who I am. And that is enough. I love my, myself unconditionally. I do not chase. I attract. I am a magnet of love, health, happiness and abundance. Keep saying that. Whenever you feel like tensed or feeling low, keep saying that I am safe. I am protected. I am blessed. Everything is working in my favor. Mm. Say that. Say that. Say that. Okay. So if this message found you, stop crying. Things going to change. Just keep believing. Keep praying. God is there. God is great. So keep praying. No matter whatever your religion, keep praying. Okay. Take care. Bye.